Yo, this is Deshaun here at Phoenix Anime Games. This is Anthony. We're here doing a deck profile on Fire Kings. And whenever you're ready, take it away. Alright, so first we have the one ofs. I have a Effect Veiler, Blaster, and Wolf, yeah, Wolf Bark. So pretty much the Effect Veiler is just to get the effects of any troublesome monsters taken care of for one turn. Blaster is just to get over any traps, magics, any monster that gets in the way, and then I can also bring it back to the boss monster later. And Wolf Bark is to bring back Yaksha or Barong, just to either, or Bear, to either XYZ or just, yeah, move on from there. Uh, next up we have two bears, pretty much just to get rid of any monster that's in the way. Uh, you should know that by now. Field control. Uh, um, I have three Barongs, um, pretty much, I have run cards that will destroy him like Circle and Circle of the Fire King and Generation Shift, so he'll be destroyed by a card effect and the following standby phase I get to search right in my Garunix, Yaksha, or one of the spells, so go to Synergy. And I have three Yakshas, and this card is destroyed either by battle or card effect. I get to destroy a card I control or in hand, so it helps to blow up a Garunix stuck in hand, and then sweep the field later. Uh, next we have three Garunix, the boss monster of the deck. Uh, pretty much as long as I get him destroyed by a card effect, either in hand or on the field, he gets to come back the following standby phase and blow up all the monsters in the field. Uh, it's really good just to get two of them blown up one after the other, that way they start sweeping back and forth to take care of anything that would get stuck. And yeah, that's pretty much a monster count. And next up we have spells. I run two one ofs, a dark hole just to clear the field, and rekindling just to bring back my fire monsters like Yaksha or Baron. Uh, they're the only ones that target here, but six targets for one card is pretty good. Uh, next, I have two soul charges. That way I can bring back all my deck Runixes that may have gotten skill drained or anything like that, as well as Wolf Bark and plenty of other monsters just to start XYZ and try to play out. Um, then after that, I have two MSTs just to take care of soul drains and fiendish chains and other things that get in the way. Um, next will be two supply units. The main reason I went back to playing the deck was supply unit, just because all the blowing up I already do, I get to draw a card now each time, so that's really good. Um, by battle or card effect, so if they happen to run over Garunix, I still get to draw them too. Uh, three tin keys, also another card everybody should pretty much know by now, it's in everything, but get to search out level four lower beast warrior fire. Um, I have three of the circle of the fire keys, pretty much I typically use it just to chain to something that would mess with the Garunix plays or a bear play and just blow it up myself and then bring back a Garunix or something else from the grave. That way I still maintain control and get my pop effects off of like Barongs and such. Uh, really good for chaining. Um, three Onslaught of the Fire Kings. This just lets me special summon my Garunix from deck and then at the end of the turn he's destroyed by the card itself. So that way, he'll definitely get his effect next in my phase unless something stops this card from being played. So, really good. Um, traps. I run a few one of. I have Torrential Tribute. To splash the field when something's summoned. Bottomless Trap Hole. Get rid of a big monster when it comes out or something troublesome. Anything over 15. Needle Ceiling. Since I like to blow up my own stuff anyways, it's just good to sweep up field, uh, full field. Black Horn of Heaven, that way I can go ahead and, it's like a free Solemn Warning almost. Uh, solemn Warning, speak of the devil. And yeah, that's it. One of's all pretty good. Might want this to two, I haven't decided yet. Uh, next I have two dimensional prisons. Uh, pretty much when a monster would swing into one of my uh, like Barongs or Yakshas, I just deprison it if possible, that way I don't lose the card effect. Yeah. Effect. And, I mean, it just takes care of troublesome monsters. And then, finally, I have two generation shifts. Uh, was going to run Destruction Potion, but I like this just because it'll blow up my Baron and then add one to hand. Or same thing for, like, a Garunix or something else that would get targeted, like, for anything that banishes, like, a deep prison or something. Just chain this, blow it up, get its effect next to my face. Really good. Uh, next, we have the Extra Deck. Uh, mostly exceeds. I keep a couple... Of synchros in here just in case I start running Flame Bell Magician again. 
Uh, first, I got, got, got Cowboy. Pretty much if I run into like a BLS or something that could mess plays up, I'll just go into this with like Wolf Bark or somebody like that and trample over him or just burn damage at the end just to get it over with. Decent staple. Uh, Abyss Dweller. Uh, troublesome card effects like uh, mostly I ran it for Mermails, but there's other things that still useful against. Uh, pretty much just attach and the opponent can't use graveyard grave effects, so it's good. Um, so I Gusto Emerald. Um, if somehow all three of my Garunix is getting grave along with other monsters, I just like to shuffle some back. That way my circles and onslaughts have more play, so shuffle draw really good. No pot of Avarice anymore. So. Uh, Evolve All Chain, the opposite for Emerald, pretty much to bury one of my, um, like either bury plays for rekindling Soul Charge or to bury the Grunix so I can circle the Fire Kings to get him out. Uh, Maestro, uh, pretty much a decent wall, stall, book of moon, and he can live through the Grunix effect for one turn, so I mean it's a pretty decent play. Uh, Diamond Direwolf, uh, pretty much I like to bring him out off of a Wolf Park, and then hopefully target my Garunix that would be on the field and possibly another card on the other side. That way Garunix gets to sweep and I still get to attack them. Good stuff. Um, <coughs> number 82, Heartland Draco. Uh, pretty much whenever I get into a issue where there's a defense monster or a monster I don't want to attack and I can stall him out and then just jump over him by having this in like a 10 key out or this in the supply unit out makes really good like damage over time. Black Ship of Corn uh, helps me send cards instead of trying to attack over everything or instead of blowing everything up with Garunix. So he's just a quick out when like a Zen Mind or something else troublesome comes out. Uh, Brotherhood, uh, the Fire Fist Tiger King. Uh, I want to bump this to two because pretty much he can make other monsters on the field lose their effect and still be at 22, 23 depending on what cards I have out. So it's good. Mini boss monster. Uh, Bujin. Kagetsuchi, uh, pretty much good for the milling, gives me rekindling plays as long as soul charge, and when I side in my skill dream, it'll help me just throw that straight in grave so I can use it for plays as well. And also can, again, dodge destruction effects from Garunix, so that's really good. And then I have two rank 8 monsters, uh, pretty much for when I have double Garunix and I feel like I'm stuck like in the corner, I'll go for... The Heliopolis, um, Her Heretic Sun Dragon, pretty much that way I can get rid of cards in hand if I need to and blow stuff up. Or I'll go for this guy if I'm worried about what monsters are on the field, that way I can negate their effects and swing through, possibly get a double swing and increased attack points depending on what the situation is. And last, just a few Synchro Monsters. I have as a backup if I start running my Flamebell Magician again. Uh, the Stardust Spark, again, so I can preserve it over time if uh, Grunix is cycling every turn. Scrap Dragon, just to blow up extra stuff to get the ball rolling, pretty much. And then Crimson Blader, so I can lock my opponent down and still have Fire Monsters for Circle. The circling him is really good, that way I can still get Grunix and other stuff up. And lastly, Side Deck. Um, not many monsters in the side deck, I just run one Swiss Scarecrow, just in case I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed, like my dual chase, I would side this in. Didn't quite work today, so I might have to bump it up to two. Uh, effect Veiler, again, just for a second Effect Veiler, stop annoying monsters from going off. Uh, double Maxi, just so I can draw in case anyone wants to push the Maxi challenge. And that's it for monsters. Um, then Traps whole bunch of traps. I have a skill drain in here. Uh, again, just milling off of Kagetsuchi is really a really good play with him. Or just leaving it face down in case it gets destroyed when they're worried about like uh, on or any of my face downs, like circle, deep prison, that kind of thing. This getting popped doesn't bother me. Um, I have two light imprisoning mirrors, just because a lot of people are doing light swarms now and light swarm combinations, so this will help being out to that really easy. Uh, pretty much the word text real quick. When the effect of a light monster activates on the field or in the graveyard, negate it. So it just stops a whole lot of stuff. Um, side two trap stones. That way if I don't need to go for a big explosive play, I can just put a damper on any reactions ahead of time. You know, or just chain the stuff. Pretty good. Um, goes in match. Since I run all fire except for my side, really nice. Uh, locks down other decks I would mash things up like the chaos and light swarms with multiple splashes in it. Really good. And 
Two skill drains. Uh, or, yeah, skill drains. Uh, pretty much pay a thousand, monsters on the field lose their effect. So I can still blow up my cards and they'll still activate in the grave. He just wouldn't get the blow up on Grunix when it comes back. But my other, like search effects, blow up in the hand, those kinds of things still go off, so it's really good. And lastly, two forbidden lances in case somebody tries to like bottomless my Grunix or something like that when it comes back from the grave. This will help save him and make him unaffected. So he might get trampled by battle, but I'd still get a Barong or something off of it instead of nothing at all, so that's good. Uh, that's pretty much the whole deck. So 40 card deck, 15 card extra deck, 15 card side deck. That's it. Alrighty.